yeah, 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 yeah. Now, obviously, it's all uh, clinically clean here in my room. Uh, Ox clan. Um. Um. What have I gotten myself into? I go city builder here. It feels the best for me. Uh, nope, I'm not a dentist. But with a crazy dentist, people can settle, you know? Crazy dentist, not that unusual. But having a crazy electrician is not that... Ah, people don't like that, right? People don't like that. Like if you get a crazy electrician running through your home um, and doing your stuff, basically, you're gonna feel uneasy when you leave the room. <laughs> I don't know if you have children or something. <laughs> I'm basically teaching young, not young electricians anymore. Now it's young plumbers. Because plumbers also do the heating systems in Germany. Like it's uh, basically the same. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, because it's basically the same apprenticeship that you're doing like with plumbing and heating systems and heating systems have a lot to do with uh, power too so i'm uh, basically uh, teaching them how to work with current mostly teaching them how to not work with current basically <laughs> yeah dentists don't enter in people's houses usually don't usually don't all a year ago ah, okay okay that's cool that's cool i hope it went well Enough of that stuff, I can imagine, I can imagine. It went splendid, that's good to hear, that's good to hear. In Germany you now have uh, really, really, really big problems finding somebody who does that stuff for you. Or else we just don't have enough construction workers, not enough electricians, not enough plumbers. <laughs> nice! <laughs> that's great that's great that sounds insane <laughs> nice we got it all done and now we can enjoy it okay now i gotta go <laughs> like to brands i'm in a campus room with my works laptop ah, okay okay but hey you're gonna come back at one point and then you have your freshly re renovated house isn't that something Don't do that now. Oh! I don't know if you know why I'm mad now. But if you know, you know. <laughs> If I just keep my hands off the keyboard and the mouse, I'm gonna end up with one low villager. Now check out how many low villagers I have. <laughs> Sometimes I should just have my dirt fingers away from the keyboard and just let the game do its thing. <laughs> like, you know? How? How? <laughs> oh... Yeah. yeah, zoom zoom is power indeed, but that you need to zoom back. I don't like that. What man? What man? <laughs> I wanted to look cool for my viewers. I wanted to look so cool. Now I look dumb. <laughs> And you know, girlfriend, hobbies, good PC, my belongings. Yeah, there's, there's more upsides than being home, right? But six w uh, months for work. Are you at least like hitting back here and there for like uh, vacation? I don't know, for Christmas or something? Oh, like fully in it. Ah, okay, okay. Do you actually have to sp speak French then?
It would be tough. I just got back into France. Okay, so we're at home over Christmas. That's it's night at last. Ugh. Like I have friends that basically made like the. I'm not actually an engineer, you know, but uh, I'm basically going for the same jobs as an engineer and have a similar education. So uh, I have some friends which are basically filling engineering classes, which made the same education that I did, basically. And they were in Dubai oftentimes building, building high buildings in Dubai. And uh, yeah, sometimes not around for a long, long time. But they're also making good good money right yeah if you want to print money as somebody with an engineering job in germany going there means you're gonna make a lot of money liz please <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Oh, thanks a lot, Ozone XD. Holy Prime. <laughs> Very much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Ah, <laughs> oh, great, man. Everything's clear. Yeah, thanks for the support, man. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Could have guessed. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, I also had that when I came out of uh, my apprenticeship. I got calls. Because I think one of my teachers from a uh, job school, let's say, like when you're doing apprenticeship in Germany, you're basically half of the time in a company actually working what you are learning and the other half of the time you are uh, in school or similar things. Basically doing that what I do right now, right? Which is not exactly school. It's a lot more practical. Um... And my school teacher basically probably told them that I were relatively okay. Like I don't want to be, don't want to talk myself up here. Um, but they must have. He must have told them. So I got a call out of the from Switzerland, basically asking me if I want to do some construction site leading there. Also weren't too interested because I just I don't know. I'm not the I'm not the kind of guy for that, right? You would do way more money. <laughs> also told me on the phone. <laughs> you are aware that you are uh, gonna <laughs> uh, earn a lot more money here. <laughs> you can just check. I, I'm gonna send you the website. I looked at the website and I saw I would earn a lot more money there. <laughs> but uh, I just like around being around friends and family. But it isn't for everyone. That isn't for everyone. So I'm also gonna earn less. And German education always sounds weird. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Like, I know that the uh, prices of everything are also a lot higher. But it's also what they said to you. I would have had a place to live for free, basically. And uh, I think at least lunch would have always been free on the construction side. So I would have earned a lot of money. <laughs> uh, but I don't think I went bad. Because back then I were a normal electrician, right? I weren't um, educated as an engineer or in engineering, let's say. I'm basically a technician of electronics, stately approved technician of electronics. That's how the German saying is, basically. And in the end, that means you are, you do the engineering jobs. You just didn't went through the usual way of becoming an engineer. Because an actual electrical engineer never were an electrician. Like he never really, uh, like he never made a switch. Like <laughs> he never were in the house and uh, preparing a switch for people or stuff or a plug or stuff like that. Right? We're never on a construction site. I basically took the third way. I first went into construction, became became an electrician, and then went in the other side. Don't want to have another low bill. <clears throat> oh. 
I could actually... Ah, oh, no! Sorry, yikes. I wanted to leave it for him. Develop all the zones. <laughs> Need more buildings. <laughs> Just happened in that tower. Um, you were low, and I don't want to have more than two low villagers here, so I just uh, cycled the villager through. Now I upgraded all my tiles, so I, because of City Builder and all the upgraded tiles, first developing them costs 50% less, and I get a 10% production bonus and minus 50% upkeep bonus, so I upgraded all the tiles right now. Uh, free is the maximum allowed, right? But also, it's not only about the happiness, but also about the 20% reduced uh, reduction that they have. And I would prefer to have the least amount of villagers with the production debuff as possible. Because 2 is already a lot, but I only have 12 right now. Like, one villager is... 1.3 villagers on another clan, let's say. <laughs> I don't know if it's exactly perfect, but I'm not gonna build a healer's hut. We're just gonna do it like that. Forty percent. Ah, okay, okay. Then 1.4. Yeah. Then 1.4 villagers. It hurts already quite a bit. I think usually you go straight main tree here. Yeah? We're gonna grab my coinage here. I think I should just go for the tile in front of me. Or oh, this one. Uh, can I? Yoinky yoinky? I don't think it's really yoinking. He has a stone over there. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Who's gonna stop me? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. Get more food sources. Uh, build some buildings on it, so I can develop it instantly. Oh, this is me farm. <laughs> make farm, me run farm. <laughs> me make farm, me run farm. There we go, there we go. Me make farm, me run, me run farm. Mm -hmm. Me is a farmer. Yuri. Yuri. Doesn't sound, sound Viking-ish. Viking-ish enough for my liking, at least. Maybe triple woodcutter... Is a little bit too much now. Just love my triple woodcutter on ox. I don't know why. <laughs> having, having that much wood, it just makes me happy. So, 
thinking about if I should actually go for a second stone here. The achievement for play. Uh, there is, yeah. I think I don't have it. Pretty sure I do not have it. By the way, where do I get my happiness? Nowhere. Let's build a brewery. This made me realize that I need a brewery. <laughs> uh, I think I need to skip my third wood here. I don't think I can run it for all the time. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> Always great to have some help. Direct one. Would really like to have a number builder, but I'm running out of stuff. Going for a stone here would be cool. But my iron is gone, see? Maybe we shuffle a rod with this. Oh. Uh, food there. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. I like this. Pull the third woodcutter off. Just... Because I don't want to end up with millions of uh, wood. I'm still going to need it later on. Like, I'm going to need to spam camps. So it's not like I have wood here that I will never use. Just... Uh, having some food here would be helpful. I'd like to have a bit more of the other resources. I could afford Torfin. My question right now would be if I really need it right now. Just get him so he can get his first uh, equipment. It takes a little bit of a while before that spawns, so the first equipment is already for sure. But it's only the first one, right? I'm not really gonna get that much military experience here. Because the eagle is clearing most of the stuff. But at least the first one I can get. It's ox time, per se. Go. Look at my horns. Look at these dang horns, man. You got these horns? <laughs> I would really love those horns. I don't like Torfin flexing on me. Ah, oh, dang. Oh, dang. I really would have liked that, huh? I don't know how late game I can go here. Hmm? After I've dug my hole. Your wife cheats on you, okay. Uh, my <laughs> Torfin, I got some tough news for you. I got some tough news for you, Torfin. I've just, I've just got the info. Everyone can see them except of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> that kind of <laughs> makes sense then. Uh, Torfin. Little situation update here. A little situation update. Nah, it's not... It's not about your cool pants. <laughs> hmm? 
Why are the kobolds not at all interested in me? I go for these two. Ogres are so stupid. <laughs> they don't even know how they get played here. They don't even know. Oh. I'm coming. <laughs> could build an altar that would be too much huh? that would be too much the rats are coming <clears throat> oh, I need to heal us anyway then Having a sick giant that is uh, tough. Woman can have horns as well. I ah, sure, sure. Maybe it's exactly about the cool pants. Maybe you're just saying Torfin's wife cheated on him because he, she thinks his pants are stupid. Are you implying that? I can see where you're coming from, let's say that. <laughs> now the pants area could be involved. I can't imagine, I can't imagine. But honestly, if you ask me, I would say that Torfin has a huge schlong. <laughs> it was a North God stream once upon a time. Can you imagine that? We were talking about the game. You don't think so? <laughs> Wants to go for the Cobalt's right? Nice. Definitely gonna go for the bodyguard here. There we go. Don't think, yeah. Until ferocious charge, a little bit too late. Oh. I can make use of all my woodcutters lodges again. I think that's why I like him so much. <laughs> I just pulled him off. <laughs> I don't know. I think if you just permanently have two woodcutters, you are doing a little better. the eagle actually doing pressure on them
The Kobold Army, man. Yikes. I could have tried to snipe the giant. Not sure about that, but... Uh... The Kobold Army looks extremely fun. <laughs> Holy moly, this dude ain't playing games. This dude ain't playing games. Will I even go? I think I will go for Ferocious Charge and just get all my happiness out of this brewery. Full brewery gameplay here. And here we have the dwarf clan. Yeah, man. There you go. There you go. Oh, I love the feast, man. I love the feast. Hmm. Hmm. Not gonna be simple. I'm gonna take the whole feast here, definitely. Need to stop the door. Okay, I have good gold. I'm just missing the camps. And one camp only gives me one army slot. get at least one upgrade don't need that anymore One or two upgrades would be nice. One is gonna be easy. could help <clears throat> hmm? okay thanks then it is 10 11 if i can get one more upgrade out Can get even stronger. Hmm. 
Let's see. Yeah, yeah, he sees the open thing there. I poop now. <laughs> you lingo just happy trans. Okay. <laughs> she loves the German man. I guess that man, German man, does not have horns. You can never be sure, though. Might get tire locked here. Being good for now. Didn't get tire locked? Why? They, they ran into the tile. He should have gotten tire locked, like my teammate. I would love if it's just patched out again, but I think it were just a little bug. Like, as soon as they ran into the tile, my teammate should have gotten stuck in this tile, and we would have needed to run back out again. And I sure hope Fire Dreaden doesn't have hibernation he has. <laughs>
It's gonna get cleaned up. 300 HQ, man. Three hundred HQ. We are strategical masterminds. Attacking a bear with hibernation with two people that do not have fur coats in winter. That is how you win Northgard games. <laughs> I don't know, that were weird. It worked. It worked. It should not have worked. <laughs> it should not. Look at, I think we were army wise actually quite a bit in the lead. We are barely, we are barely getting the dragon. But with, with like the skin of a thief, you know? Walking on our teeth. What happened here were criminal. Too powerful, no bonus needs. <laughs> Barely getting the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you fought 2v3? Ah, okay, okay. The stack didn't come. No. I think in a 3v3 we would have just lost, right? Like Fire Dragon doesn't know what we're going on in our chat. I can just read it before. Uh, wait, when attack, then that were mid of 802, at the start of 802. Uh, purple says, building camps now. I say, hmm, yeah, I can start too. Question mark, you just want camp? Plus, ox life ain't easy. I build like seven, seven camps, seven or eight camps. Uh, I at least had seven or eight warband. And then I said, okay, I'm kind of ready now. Ah, uh, people jumped out. Now we are resetting the thing here. Uh, uh, kinda ready. Wait, give you. Then he gave me a tile with some camps. Then want to attack after winter. I could feast uh, again. Cool. Don't know. Your call. Eagle doesn't say anything. Uh, I just got the camp tile. How many soldiers? 11. No fur coats on my lord tree. <laughs> uh, I don't care. We can. Our dragon also didn't have fur coats. <laughs> attack, we attack, basically. We go full go. And then we realize we have two people without fur coats. We have you with hibernation. Like everything in the world told us, do not attack in winter. <laughs> and what did we do? Ah, okay, that's also... Bit of a bummer. Upgrading the scout camp, then not going for the scout is tough, of course. It's tough, of course. I think I got a little bit lucky with my ox play itself. Because I were doing well. I were doing well. And usually I'm not doing that well on ox. It may actually have been about me actually building the brewery now. I think I never really went for the brewery on ox. Making me, like, stagnate at some point. Uh, but yeah, feeling safe is tough to reach. Like usually I went city builder into feeling safe. Now having the coinage makes it a lot stronger. But therefore you're putting... Yeah, you're not really getting unstoppable also quickly. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not a high level game. Might just be uh, a newer player who uh, forgot to actually send its scout out, honestly. Honestly. But I wouldn't have thought that I perform on ox at all i don't think i were doing that well i got biggest warband man i'm ox guys come on come on can i, can I get a little bit of a <laughs> can i get a little bit guys come on i got i got 14 army ox ox player <laughs> uh that is usually not me that is usually not me <laughs> 13 times 1.4 yeah Go on, show him, show him, show him. <laughs> At 12, oh yeah, he had dragon kid. Ah, ah. <laughs> and you got fat camps. Doesn't count, 
Doesn't count, Manbullet. Doesn't count. <laughs> I got the camps because I were such a nice teammate. I were very nice to our eagle. I've told him that he's looking really cool today. And he thought like, hey, he got me such an, um, a boost. Not in game, but like... Uh, self-esteem boost while the game that he thought i want to give something back and he gave me the camps you could have told me that i'm i have cool shoes on and stuff <laughs> but no but no <laughs> i don't think i could have given fanny <laughs> camps over to be honest <laughs> moral support were up there up there <laughs> And dragonkins, like I think, I think ox warriors are stronger than dragonkins. <laughs> so yeah, in the end, still, still the best army, right? <laughs> Over dragon with fur coats, and I didn't have. Ah, okay, okay. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Honestly, I think you upgraded then a few war camps, right? Yeah, there must be some camp upgrades in there. Wait a second, that's the unit improvement. Yeah, yeah, there must be some camps upgrade in there. We upgrade nine buildings, let's say at least six of them are camps. <laughs> we upgrade your dock, your town hall, and maybe food. Maybe a second dock. Then it's five times war camps upgrade. Yeah, it should be a lot of bonus damage. But yeah. Wouldn't have expected to do something on the Ox Clan here, but it didn't even went that bad. Oh yeah, you, did you have a massive Kobold army? He had a lot of Kobolds. Yeah. They, they weren't really strong, but they're looking extremely cool. Yeah, we lost on that. So yeah, whatever that thing here says, it doesn't even actually count because we didn't have no cobalt army. Fuck, man. We can just try. We can just try. It indeed isn't. Not the size that counts. It doesn't have to be.